Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another viewer feedback show. Welcome back guys. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. This is our weekly viewer feedback show where I respond directly to your comments and feedback. Gosh, you do have relatives in Hong Kong and China, according to the opinion of our postman. There is an uncanny similarity to the stuff we buy, too. I start to get withdrawal symptoms when I realize there's nothing on a flight on the slow boat. Absolutely, yeah. I order a lot of stuff from overseas, and I guess my postman probably think I do have relatives over there. Hi, I'm from Poland. I just picked up a signal at 436.925 MHz FM, and it sounds like some kind of downlink. This frequency was assigned to TMSAT. TO31, but I can read that the satellite ended its mission in 2001. Do you have any info on the data on this frequency? Hi Mackiesoft, there is a ton of satellite downlinks out there. This happens to me all the time when I record baseband recordings. I'll catch tail ends of transmissions and I won't know what they are. Google is your friend here. Just Google the downlink frequency as best you can. Uh, shift it around a little bit, up and down in the megahertz, what you search for because of the Doppler, you might not be bang on the downlink frequency. Uh, if all else fails, you can go to my, uh, my software defined radio software video in the description. There's a link to a file I maintain on all the downlink frequencies of the amateur radio satellites. It might, might help you. It might be on there, but it also might be one of the many, many other commercial satellites out there that use these frequencies. Good luck. Hi, Eric. I really enjoyed the show. There's a lot of great, helpful people in the chat. Thank you for doing these shows as they are informative and fun. All the best to you and the guys, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. I'm really enjoying doing the live broadcast for exactly that reason, among other reasons. Uh, tons of really helpful people in the chat. Uh, when Odds are when someone has a question, someone in the chat can provide a, a very good answer and direction. Really love it. Great community we have here. Mark says, you are a saint. Our code for our first launch did not work as expected. Slowly reworking everything and I've been bashing my head into a wall until I saw your videos. Thank you. Thank you. I will be in contact. Hey Mark, I'm really glad you found my videos. That's why I did them. When I started building the high altitude balloon initially, uh, of course we think things are much simpler than what they are. Sending a balloon up in, up in the air can't be that hard, right? until you start investigating and dealing with redundancies and problems with the systems. That's why I did that huge series. I, I hoped it would help someone. I'm really glad it helped you. Good luck on your launch. Mark again said we've had the same trouble with our tracking. The spot went to sleep and never reported again. That is until the wonderful woman who found our balloon in her front yard turned it back on. Can't wait to watch the next videos and see how you get the Arduino GPS to work. I've been struggling. I did talk with a ham radio club in town and they think they may supply me a high quality APRS tracker. More to come. Keep up the good work and thanks again. Hey Mark, again, I'm glad you found the videos. I didn't end up using APRS. We might on the next launch, might not. Uh, I think I can make the spot work. I We had good luck. We recovered ours. Everything woke up when it needed to. And uh, yeah, you've seen it in the videos. Good luck. I bought metal enclosures for both the Hammett Up up converter and the RTL dongle. Neither of them fit their enclosures. All was bought from Noelec. Anyone else come across this? And what was their fix? Thanks. My fix was to 3D print my own enclosures. I didn't buy any of the commercial ones. I've run into this before where there's differences of model runs, so I just 3D print my own. Good luck. Peter says, got myself a handful of these displays for a buck a piece from eBay. Since I don't have the resources to go for an acrylic or metal box for my generic panel, I've built one from 3mm, pretty sturdy foam core and said, same stuff I build RC planes with. You can easily do all the cutting with a regular X-Acto blade or similar. For color, I use my airbrush. Hey Peter, absolutely. I think flight tests would be proud. I also do some of the foam board aircraft and uh, I'm not sure whether that's where you got the idea from, but good luck with your panels. Uh, the displays are awesome. Best of luck. Jay says, hey Eric man, I've had a few people looking at your satellite project and wanted to know when you'd be doing another video on it. They can't wait to see it. Hey Jay, actually I will be doing another video upcoming, but I'm not sure when it's going to be. I've got too many other projects on the go. You'll see, uh, we'll talk on the live cast, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I have more projects than I can possibly accomplish lately. Uh, there will be an update soon. 
Ashir says, where did it land though? Ashir, uh, you're one of the many people who comment on the videos that I can't reply to because of your G plus settings. Please change them. Uh, our high altitude balloon landed under 10 kilometers from where we predicted. Uh, it was perfect. If we would have drove to the landing location, we would have probably seen the balloon coming down. Uh, I couldn't believe our prediction reports were so accurate. Thanks for the comment. Survival Tech Nord says, thanks for sharing, Eric. I think I'll do a video response sometime in the coming week. If there's a good pass, I love working satellites. Hey buddy, yeah, please post a video. I love the SO50 satellite. I love getting out there and listening to it. It's just a lot of fun. I really should get licensed and then I can actually talk back through the repeater, but I'm okay with just listening. Tons of, uh, need to hear people from all over North America. Guys, thanks for all your comments and feedback this week. This was not all of them. This is only a small sample. There's way more than I can get to in a live video. Uh, please consider a thumbs up down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Really enjoy my time with you guys. Good luck in all your electronics ventures.